someone just bumped himself yeah bumped himself on the bed frame today's um chit chat life lessons advice ridiculous things happening in the world is about the ridiculous rise of cases of people calling the police on kids selling lemonade and water yeah why, why we do that why not um slightly get ready yeah because obviously like you're thinking okay you look a bit of a mess you look rough i'm gonna get ready but the first case i had was um a bunch of kids um they were selling lemonade i think they were just they were selling lemonade i mean they were, they were trying to buy something they were raising money for something but it, it wasn't said in the video what they were raising money for but they were just selling lemonade they had a lemonade stand learning what it's like to be an entrepreneur a lesson that almost got cut short for these new bird kids we were probably out there about an hour and a half when i noticed the cop car pull up when someone saw them selling lemonade by the road in barkley manor monday and instead of stopping for a cup called the police his first words were can you believe someone called the cops on kids selling lemonade we're trying to raise kids who need to have like hustle mentality and if we can like like incorporate that type of mentality at a very young age it's fabulous i mean we we'll have many and by the time they're 20 there'll be millionaires our mortgage will be paid wasn't it that um that fitness guy that fitness guy i don't know what's his name like, this is fitness guy here in the uk and like literally he like he made so much money that he paid off mum's mortgage we're trying to raise kids that can pay off our mortgage you know like all this work giving birth to them so what's that oh that's lotion officers clayton dubois and thomas o'connell instead bought a cup of lemonade and posed for pictures with the kids they could have shut it down you know a lot of cops probably wouldn't have handled it that way, but he handled it really well. Police say the kids weren't doing anything wrong, but that their stand was creating some traffic. Mom Whitney Glover posted about it on Facebook, calling the person who complained, well, bitter. Since doing so, she says dozens of customers have stopped by and the kids have made hundreds of dollars in three days must be fabricating the story too like when they call 911 they must be like making up the story to like get the police to come like they must be lying and saying there's grown people selling alcohol outside their property and it's causing a commotion i generally don't think police officers are going to answer a call from someone calling 911 emergency services how can i help you yes i'm calling to report a group of five-year-old kids selling lemonade outside their property and on top of that the police officers that arrived were like um can you imagine like someone actually called and says like you're selling lemonade like that's an actual issue <laughs> I mean, there's murders out here not even being solved and we're coming here because some kid's selling lemonade. In fact, do you, not, do, you not, do you mind if we have a drink of lemonade too? Like, the other case is a young girl who was selling water, bottles of water, bottles of water, trying to raise money so she can go to Disneyland. And guess what? Some woman, right, decides to call the police in front of the child. Right, and was reporting them they don't have a permit they ain't got a permit to be selling water it clearly says she's trying to raise some money to go to disneyland and people are buying these people she's selling water more cheaper than the ones in store i mean have you seen the prices of water here in central london i had a relative the other day they went to central london which is a rare occasion for them they went to central london they had an appointment she said, Priscilla, do you know how much I bought of water was? I was like, how much? Three pounds? I was like, rah! Jordan Rogers is an internet sensation for selling bottled water on the street in front of her house. This woman don't want to let a little girl sell some water. This woman is Allison Edel. This morning, she's a social media villain for calling the cops on her young neighbor. Yeah, and um, illegally selling water without a permit? Edel, being called Permit Patty online, says she was working at home upstairs. And Jordan's sales pitch was loud and non-stop. 
I tried to be polite, but I was stern. And and I said, please, I'm, I'm trying to work. You're screaming, you're yelling. And people have open windows, it's a hot day. Can you please keep it down? Yeah, I don't understand who are these people who are calling the police. Like, 911, emergency services, how can I help you? Yes, I'm calling to report um, a group of young kids selling bottles of water without a permit because she's trying to raise money to go to Disneyland. And the police officers are on the phone. Oh, really? Oh, well, we need to put a stop to that. Edel says she never confronted Jordan, just her mother, Erin Austin, who took this video. She calling police on an eight-year-old little girl. You can hide all you want. The whole world gonna see you, boo. Austin tells a different story. She never asked us to be quiet. She just came out and directly demanded to see a permit to sell water from an eight-year-old. So this woman who called the police on the girl trying to raise money for Disneyland, um, she said she's gonna apologize, which again, you know, we're all here for apologies. Um, the parents did say like they don't really want an apology from her because I understand why, because you, she did it right in front of the kids and like she came like right in front of the kids and, like, do you have a permit? Like, obviously it's very distressing for the child. But, like, but, you like, know, you still have to apologise even if someone won't accept your apology. Apologise if you're genuinely sorry. It's, it's actually better for you because it just makes you realise, you know what, I, yeah, yeah certain parts of my life I, I made poor decisions and also if you're gonna apologize don't apologize like and say like oh I was having a bad day or oh, my cat died like even people who like have grieved losses in their lives I, I'm pretty sure they would tell you I, I don't remember being unreasonable though I'm pretty sure I was a logical person even during that time period like I wasn't doing dumb things but what I don't understand is that why is there video footage of this woman who called the police on the young girl trying to raise money for Disneyland. Why is there video footage of her crying? And we don't have video footage of of the emotions of the child. I don't understand why we're focusing on her. Like, I mean, the girl like went to Disneyland in the end because a lot of people were like, "What?" Like she called the police. It got it fired people to be like, you know. Let's get this girl to Disneyland. She was trying to raise money to help her mom, who recently lost her job, and go to Disneyland. Over the weekend, she got some good news. They know you want to go to Disneyland, and they bought you four tickets to go. There's certain people in life that are just out of touch. They're pretty cold. This woman was trying to put a stop to this young girl's dream, but she had no idea she was just going to fuel it even more. Oh, I didn't get ready. Oh, anyways, but yeah, that was my story. Just, yeah, certain people in this world, you've got to watch out. Heads don't function well.